Hey guys, welcome to the workshop. Today's video is actually a collaboration and my part is part one of this project. This collaboration is with Seth Johnson at the Land House channel and there'll be a link in the description below to both his channel and his part of the video which will allow you to see the completed project. Hope you enjoy. Our part of this project was to take an image and create a mountain and tree scene for Seth. We started off by printing the image to full size, cut it to shape, and create a life size template to then follow. This is going to be glued onto a circular disc, so we had to make sure that we match the diameter and everything correctly. The wood for this project was actually an old tabletop that I glued together with intentions of building it into a table, but I just never got around to it. This is 3 quarter inch thick poplar hardwood. I used spray adhesive to glue the paper template down to the wood, and then we traced over the trees with a dark marker, and then we laid wax paper on the top of it, and then traced out the trees. In a sense, this gives us two templates to follow, one that we can cut out for the trees and the other one we can cut out just for the mountain scene. That way there's actually two layers to this project overall. Once I had my part for the mountains, I went and roughed it out on the bandsaw and smoothed it over on the oscillating sander and the belt sander. What you see at the top of the screen is our process of gluing the tree templates onto offcuts from the exact same tabletop of the 3 quarter inch poplar. My scroll saw just barely had enough throat depth to be able to cut this without running into too many problems. I actually lucked out because I didn't measure this and didn't think about it until I was already into the process of cutting this. While I worked on cleaning up the other bits of the mountain scene, my wife hopped over to the scroll saw and cut out all of the trees. With all the pieces cut out, the only thing left to do was to sand, sand, and sand some more. I was able to use the oscillating sander on most of the large pieces, but the trees I had to do by hand. I also was very careful in making sure that all the edges were at least rounded over so that it was safe for anyone to touch, but it also gave it kind of an intarsia look, which added to the artistic qualities in my opinion. Once everything was laid out and I was happy with the result, I packed it up into a box and sent it on to Seth. Be sure to check out his video and channel, links are in the description below, and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you coming along, and we'll see you guys next time in the workshop.